White Camp Squad, what's the deal? It's your boy Mike Rasheed, and I want to wish you all Happy New Year. We're going into this new year, head high, chest out, conquering everything in our path. All right, we're grabbing life by the horns. A lot of people had a rough 2020. That's behind us. Let's hit this new year running. Regardless of whatever circumstances there are or impediments or perceived impediments that lie before us, it doesn't matter. Life goes on. So let's try to live your best life. Live it to the fullest because look, tomorrow's not promised. All we have is right now. So let's live to the fullest, all right? Let's get into this workout. Now today, we're gonna work on drills. I love drills. Drills, when it comes to a sport like boxing, learning boxing and self-defense, Drills are vital, it's important. When you're hitting the heavy bag, when you're doing the, uh, the workouts on the app, you're doing very specific things, that's for a reason. Drills makes one excellent. Just willy-nilly freestyling, doing whatever is not always the best because you might have some bad habits and you're making them worse by continuing to do them over and over and over, all right? Now with drills, the beautiful thing about it is you get locked in with this, a certain type of muscle memory and a certain type of reaction that's necessary at certain times. So if you have something coming at you, you know exactly what to do. Lightning speed, it becomes second nature. That's the purpose of drills, doing things excellent over and over and over. Now, today we're gonna start out with a drill. I'm gonna be reading my man, all right? So he's not gonna give me any instructions. We're gonna start slow, filling it out. You wanna be instinctual with boxing. So it's good to try to like, not always take uh, um, instructions. Watch your, your, your guy or your girl and read them. Know where the punch is supposed to go based on where they're at, okay? Because in a real actual combat, sparring or whatever you're gonna be doing, there's no rules. No one's gonna say, all right, I'm gonna do this and you do this. That's not a thing, all right? So you gotta be instinctual and know exactly what to do and when to do it, all right? Check out the first round. Second round, we're gonna do the same thing. See, it's not as hard as it sounds, right? But I've been doing this for a long time, okay? However, I still have to do a lot of thinking. With something like boxing, it's 80% mental, 20% physical. You gotta be in shape, so just get in shape. It's a good thing. But what people uh, underestimate is the thinking that goes into it. Now, not only are you locking in a lot of muscle memory and reactions that you need at certain times, but you're training your brain to work in a capacity that's conducive to boxing or to combat, right? A lot of hand-eye coordination. It's a lot of kinesthetic intelligence that's being activated. There's so many different types and levels of intelligence that people don't even talk about or, or deal with, but it's very valid and necessary for so many different aspects of life. This is gonna help you way more than just learning how to box, okay? So uh, that's what we're doing. That's another reason why we're doing these kind of drills without uh, instructions. Time, thinking, okay? All right, so check out this round. Okay, now the third round, we're gonna work on some more defense now, okay? We worked on a lot of offense, but we're gonna work on defense as well, because that's very important. Listen, there's, like, when I was coming up training and learning how to fight and going through the motions, the amateur boxing, I had to do a lot of rounds that was just defense. And it's so frustrating, because you wanna, you wanna get in there and throw punches, but you're, you're instructed by your coach at times. This round, all defense, all defense, because 
The objective of boxing is to hit and not get hit, all right? So, well, we take it a step further. We want to not get hit, but if we make our person miss, you make them pay for that miss, all right? So you do that with a counter. So that's what we're doing in this round. Uh, primarily, I might throw a couple punches here and there, but it's primarily slipping, slipping shots and rolling on the punches, all right? Check it out. Okay, so round four, we're gonna do parries, all right? So a parry is you're, like, you're blocking a shot with your gloves very subtly. You don't wanna do a lot of motion to parry a shot. Sometimes it might happen, but it's a very subtle deflecting a shot. Somebody's throwing a punch at you, you knock their, knock their hand over, whatever, get it out the way. And you're also giving, giving yourself the opportunity to throw a punch, all right? So um, a lot of times I like to parry keep timing them and measuring their speed and their distance. And then if I'm close enough and I, if I can inch to them in the right range, I'm a parry and counter, okay? So there's another thing that I like to do. Um, it's kind of difficult to teach it, but I keep my lead hand out a little longer than, than what's, what's standard. Most people are right here. And sometimes this is, this is very necessary, okay? Chin tuck, eyes straight, and hands protecting the face. But if I'm using my range properly, and I'm staying offline. Offline is when you're not straight in front of your guy. You kind of lean to the side, so it's a little bit more difficult to get hit. You're too far. I'm gonna keep my lead hand out here. Couple reasons. The first reason is it's quick, it's easier to jab. It's a, it's a short, ah, ah, just turn it over. I think I showed you guys this in two, video, two or three videos ago, but you keep it here. This is a shorter range. Wow. The jab is not necessarily to hurt your guy. It's a distraction, it's to set up punches, it's to make him reset if he's trying to, uh, uh, a jab will always disrupt your opponent's offense, okay? It puts him on a defense and it makes him have to think and recalibrate, all right? And it gives you the opportunity to do something else. And it can score a point. So many benefits of a jab, most important uh, punch. Now, there, there's a thing called a power jab when you're stepping into it and it's really hard and it can hurt people. But right here, this is just a distraction. And if my hand is here, right? When he throws a shot, I'm already kind of parrying it and blocking it, interfering with his his uh, his vision. And with a hard punch, all you you take a little bit off of a punch by it grazing your arm, it's not going to be an effective punch, even if it lands. So that's why I'll keep this hand here. It's, it's somewhat of a parry, but the real parry is actually when that glove is coming, you 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 deflect it. Um, I'll put in some. Uh, footage of me sparring right here so you can see it in action in real live action because it happens fast all right so that's what this round is about parries Okay, the last round, our fifth and final round, we're gonna do the cat, what's called catch and shoot. It's so many ways to catch and shoot, okay? I was talking about parrying a few minutes ago, parrying and counter, that's still catch and shoot as well, okay? Catch and shoot, you'll see a lot with uh, Floyd Mayweather when he'll get in his shoulder roll defense and he's not just deflecting punches, but he'll, he'll get some of it and give you a shot right back. But here, what I'm doing is when he throws a punch, you know, here, you want to do this in a drill, in a drill format. Bap, 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 instant. When somebody's throwing a punch at you, 
they're not expecting a punch right back right before I return, okay? Here, pop, 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 okay? That's what we're working on. And these are things that you wanna drill, 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 drill. You wanna do over and over and over because it will become second nature. When somebody throws a punch at you, you're already getting prepared to catch it and give them something right back. How dare you throw a punch at me? All right, so there you have it. Practice these drills, they're excellent. You wanna drill, 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 drill. That's the beauty of fight camp. This is just a snippet. When you get fight camp and you, you're doing the workouts on the app, it's a, so many, so many dope workouts by world-class trainers, okay? Um, they're giving you drills, they're giving you different workouts. You know exactly what to do. The beauty of fight camp is the wealth of knowledge with the trainers and the equipment. The punch trackers, you know exactly what, you're measuring your punches. I wish I had this growing up, or I wish I had this earlier in my career. This would be so great, because I'm the type of person that I measure things and I wanna do better, right? I can, I can track it and progress, and that's what you're doing with Fight Camp. And when it comes to training the body and staying healthy, you have to constantly progress, because if you get to a certain point and you just maintain, you just become really efficient at what you're doing, and then that efficiency will start to fade over time if you're not progressing, and you'll start to degrade, okay? That's the good and the bad of being in shape and working out, okay? You always gotta progress. The, it's hard to do sometimes, but if you get locked into that, it's the best thing for you. It will help you age gracefully and just be young, fit, healthy forever for as long as possible, and it's a fun challenge, and it keeps the mind sharp. Fight Camp provides all of that. Big shout out to Fight Camp and make sure y'all go to the link, subscribe to the channel, holla at me next time, all right? Let me know what else y'all wanna uh, see me cover in the comments down below and I'll provide that for you, all right? I'm here for y'all. Much love, peace.